Good morning, my name is Father Ayapa. I'm going to talk about divestment. Today, Catholic Church is uh, focusing uh, on this uh, uh, strategy uh, to save planet Earth. And uh, the season of uh, creation, which started September 1st, is going to run through all the way to the 4th of uh, October. It's going to conclude with the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. And a uh, lot of people are talking about uh, stopping funding to fossil fuel companies, oil companies, and invest that money to create new energy uh, resources. And uh, I think uh, it's a big, big uh, uh, shift, I would call it. That's why it's known as a big shift. Uh, actually, Catholic institutions are uh, divesting from fossil fuel companies and investing in renewable energy as part of their ethical investment commitments. To respond to the Pope's Laudato Si encyclical and the COP21, that is COP21 uh, statement of Catholic bishops from all the continents. Divestment is the opposite of the investment. It is the removal of your investment capital from stocks, bonds, or funds. The global uh, divest invest movement is asking institutions to move their money out of oil, coal, and gas companies for both moral and financial reasons, asking instead to reinvest those resources in clean energy companies that will help solve the climate crisis while tackling energy poverty. Over 530 institutions globally, representing over 3.4 trillion in funds under management, are committed to divest. They include institutions such as the World Council of Churches, the Lutheran World Federation, the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Rockefeller Brothers Fund, and many academic institutions such as Stanford University and Oxford University. It is the fastest growing divestment campaign in history and could cause significant damage to coal, gas, and oil companies, according to the study by Oxford University. Previous divestment campaigns have targeted the tobacco and gambling industries and companies funding the violence in Darfur. Divestment is perhaps most well known for its role in the fight against apartheid in South Africa. And anyway, what is the case for divestment? Almost all of the arguments in favor of fossil fuel divestment fit into two categories. One is moral, another one is financial. First, the moral argument, which is rooted in basic math. Scientific research shows that in in order to keep to international targets to limit global warming to a 2 degrees Celsius rise and thus prevent catastrophic levels of climate change, between two-thirds and four-fifths of fossil fuels need to remain in the ground. But fossil fuel companies are currently banking on these targets not being met so far. They are not met so are extracting these reserves and selling them and are actively prospecting for more. In doing so, they are setting the human race on a route to irreversible climate change that will cause rising seas, flooding, droughts, rising diseases, increased conflicts and refugee crisis. Second is the financial argument, which rests on the premise that if international agreements on climate change are met, the investments will become worthless. The theory that these stranded assets 
are creating a trillion dollar carbon bubble that could plunge the world into another economic crisis is now the subject of an investigation by the Bank of England after Governor Mark Carney said publicly that the vast majority of reserves are unburnable. The World Bank has come out in support of the financial argument for divestment with President Jim Yong Kim stating that every company, investor and bank that screens new and existing investments for climate risk is simply being pragmatic. Although the impact of divestment on share prices, share prices may be relatively small, the reputational damage can have serious financial consequences. The United Nations has lent its moral authority to the divestment campaign, while Archbishop Desmond Tutu has said that people of conscience need to break their ties with corporations financing the injustice of climate change. So I wish you all a happy celebration of the season of creation 2017. Goodbye.